Social Security has revealed some key information many of us have been wondering about. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, so it's not all that often that Social Security comes out talking about benefits or how much benefit raises could actually be. However, some new information recently released out of the Social Security Chief Actuary, Steve Goss, actually gives that exact information. So I do want to talk about what Steve Goss, the Social Security Security Chief Actuary actually said about a potential benefit raise and how this all translates into the millions and millions of beneficiaries and many of you right here in this community. So let's get into it and discuss all the details. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. Information continues to change very, very rapidly right now, which is why I'm doing the research all day, every single day, breaking it down into these short videos so that you can stay tuned with everything going on as this information is hitting the wire. It is my dedication and my commitment to be here for you right by your side every single day, helping you out in any way that I possibly can as we all completely understand the low income, the fixed income, seniors, older adults, and people with disabilities, as well as anybody living on a fixed income of any kind is really struggling right now with everything going on. And I truly want to help you out in any way that I can get additional money, benefits, programs, checks, and be aware of anything else that may be coming up right here, right now, during this very busy time. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I'm here for you in any way that I can be, so make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any updates going forward, and let's get right into this. All right, so there's actually been a lot of new information coming out as of recently in regards to all of these fixed income benefits for seniors, older adults, and of course, people with disabilities. In regards to Social Security, all the programs, whether it's retirement or disability, or survivor's benefits. There's also been a lot of talk about SSI, Supplemental Security Income, and of course, other fixed income benefits as well. There's also been other talk about Medicare and a variety of other fixed income programs going on right now. There's a lot of talk about many different things including, again, also the recent announcement out of the Department of Health and Human Services, once again, directly related to all these fixed income beneficiaries. It's been a very busy time lately when it comes to all of these fixed income beneficiaries and a variety of these different announcements, which, by the way, according to that recent report and what John Larson said in regards to the Social Security 2100, they should be bringing that to Congress here very, very soon. As I do get more details on that, of course, as well, along with any of these other programs, of course, I'll be right here for you breaking it down. But anyway, we can focus on all those in a separate video. My point is, there's a lot going on right now for fixed income and uh, the low income. So anyway, let's quickly talk about this new information out of the Social Security Chief Actuary, Steve Goss, and what he said in regards to a raise for benefits. Now, this is interesting because generally we don't get this kind of information that comes out mid-year. Usually we get this kind of stuff that comes out, you know, mid-October when we usually get the announcement for the annual raise to monthly benefits. However, Steve Goss, the Social Security Chief Actuary, uh, was out and said that it's uh, uh, the best guesstimate for a raise to benefits going forward right now is around 8%. 8%. The report goes on to say that it could go on to be a, a percentage point above or below that. So we could be looking at anywhere between 6 and 10% of a raise uh, going forward for all of the millions of beneficiaries. So even the chief actuary said that 8% is the best guesstimate, rough guesstimate as of right now. Well, based on everything we've been seeing lately as well, we're sitting anywhere between about 8.3 and about 9.1% as of recently with the most recent information. But again, according to this report and what's going on here, it could be a percentage or two above or below that. So we're talking anywhere between like six and 10% is the best estimates as of right now. That's a huge range, but at the same time, even 6% on the low end would still be a tenth of a percent higher than what we actually got this year in 2022 of 5.9%, right? So even worst case scenario, it's still going to be a bigger raise than what we saw this year in 2022. So we got some major things on the table here. I mean, this is a pretty big announcement considering... It's not all that often. Like I said, we generally do not get information like this out of Social Security mid-year. We usually get this kind of information that comes out um, you know, later in the fall, right? In the fall sometime when we get all that inflation data and when we get the official announcements as far as what the raise is actually going to be. In other words, there's a lot going on right now. In other words, there is some weird stuff going on right now and... 
it's virtually anybody's guess what this could actually look like. So it could be even significantly higher than that. Considering what gas prices have been doing lately and how they play such a major role in the inflation numbers, um, this could retranslate into even bigger uh, raises for everybody. But again, we won't know that official number until we actually get the official announcement out of Social Security. So anyway, this is just one more piece of the pie. There's a lot of different pieces that are going on out there right now, including, like I said, the Social Security 2100, which could also be uh, incredibly transformational to this program alongside some of the other pieces of legislation that are out there now, again, to reform these programs. And maybe, like the pro uh, president has the program, or what I should say is the president has a plan anyway to uh, do this as well, reform Social Security. But again, there's a lot of different things out there that are also have been introduced and or floated, but yet at the same time, not a whole lot has been done, right? We all recognize that. Uh, it's very easy to remember all the things that maybe haven't been done that have also been said, and we can all think, oh, yeah, that has been said, but then at the end of the day, it hasn't happened yet, right? So... There's a lot of different things like that out there. But again, to be totally fair, again, I just want to be fair, which I, <laughs> whatever, uh, I won't throw my opinions in here. But sometimes, honestly, it's a little bit hard to be fair considering so many people are struggling right now and we feel like, you know, we need some action here. But the fact of the matter is it does take a long time. Again, like I said, to be completely fair, uh, it does take a long time to actually get some of these pieces of legislation through Congress and going through the congressional process is you know, a long one. It does take quite a while. So to be fair about it, I guess when it comes down to that, it does take quite a while for any of this to actually move its way through Congress and to actually get final approval. So um, anyway, there's a lot going on, but this is actually some information um, out of the chief actuary from Social Security. Like I said, generally don't get this information all that often uh, like this early on in the year, but you know, kind of interesting stuff going on. So I want to share that with you, just to let you know what's going on out there, what is actually being anticipated. But as we continue to move forward and uh, as we get more details on what is really going on right now, as far as inflation and all how all of this is impacting fixed income beneficiaries, we'll probably be getting a lot more information just like this coming out over the days, the weeks, the months, and then of course those official announcements out of the administration as well. So as I do get more details, of course, I'll be right back here for you breaking it all down. But if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any updates going forward. Of course, feel free to share this video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. There's a lot going on right now. Seriously, I'm back every single day as I'm watching all this stuff very, very closely. Anytime that I get key announcements like this or any Anything else that pertains to uh, the fixed income, low income, seniors, older adults, people with disabilities, anybody like this, of course, I want to be right here for you, breaking it all down, letting you know what is going on as it may impact your money, your benefits, your bank account, uh, your lifestyle, all these things like this. It's all very important to watch very closely right now because, like I've said before, I don't even like to use this word, but we are living through an unprecedented time right now. If you don't believe that, when was the last time we lived through anything like this? It's been a very long time, right? It's been a very long time since we've seen anything remotely similar to what is going on right now. It is super weird with everything happening right now. Anyway, I'll keep you posted with all those details. So make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss those updates going forward. Enjoy your day. Until next time, stay safe out there. Have a great afternoon and I'll catch you again later.